Hey, what's up guys? Luke here with a review of the Bose QC15 headphones. These are Bose's top of the line acoustic noise canceling headphones. So let's take a look at the design and how these things actually sound. The Bose QC15s have a very classy look and feel with the same black and silver color combination that we see on most Bose products. The build quality of these headphones is top notch. Everything is made out of a thick and durable plastic and the padding is comfortable and soft to the touch. There's a perfect amount of padding on the headband and ear cups, which makes it easy and comfortable to wear these headphones for an extended period of time. The headband itself extends a little over an inch on each side, so you shouldn't have any trouble finding a comfortable fit for your head. On the left ear cup, there's a place to plug in your audio cable, and on the right ear cup, there's the power button and a battery compartment which holds one AAA battery. The ear cups themselves are attached to a twisting and swiveling mount that adjusts to your head when you put on the headphones. Now the last thing I want to say about the design of these headphones is something that I think is the most unnoticed and underappreciated aspect of the design. If you look at the headphones straight on from the side, you'll notice that the ear cups aren't perfectly vertical. Bose has tilted them just a little bit so they match the natural shape of your ear on your head. This is something that even some of the biggest headphone companies don't do. The Bose QC15s come with a 5.5 foot audio cable that has a high low level switch an inline remote and microphone cable that allows you to change the volume and accept calls, and an airline adapter. All of these things come in an included carrying case which helps you protect your headphones while on the go. The case itself is a hard shell case with a soft touch outside and inside. On the back of the case there's a pocket, and on the inside there's a place to put your headphones, a small pouch, and a card slot. The pouch can fit all of your cords or can hold a couple of extra batteries. Bose gives you some QC15 information cards to pass out, but I put my own card with my personal information on it just in case I lose the headphones. If you don't want any of these things in your case, you can easily take them out. To put the headphones in the case, you just collapse them down and then fold the ear cups flat. I then usually just put my audio cable right on top and zip it up. So how do these headphones sound? In short, amazing. Everything that I've listened to on these headphones sounds great. Rock, hip hop, jazz, rap, or even a podcast. It all sounds incredible. The vocals, the instruments, and the bass all sound great, and nothing gets drowned out. Everything is easily heard, and everything has a nice full and crisp sound to it. Now, if you're looking for headphones with bass that will make your head vibrate, these won't do that, but that doesn't mean that the bass is lacking here. The QC15s have bass that is very balanced, but it can still handle music that is very bass heavy. What helps a lot with the sound in these headphones is the noise canceling technology Bose has included. The tiny microphones on the outside of the ear cups pick up all the outside noise and frequency and then pump out an anti-noise signal that helps cancel out all environmental noise. Where you'll notice the power of this technology is in a plane or a loud car or something like that. On a long flight a couple of weeks ago, I was able to put on these headphones and essentially cancel out all of the cabin and engine noise. As for improvements to these headphones, I don't really have any. Now a lot of people don't like that you have to use a AAA battery to power these headphones. But Bose knows that the best experience and best comfort with these headphones comes when you have the noise canceling on at all times. Even so, the battery lasts for up to 35 hours and you can easily keep a couple of extra batteries in your case, so it's not like you will be buying a bunch of batteries all the time. Overall, these headphones are hard to beat. They're comfortable, they look great, and they sound even better. The Bose QC15s come in at 300 bucks, which is really steep. Now I'm not going to sit here and tell you that these headphones are worth every penny, but what I will tell you is that I do not regret my purchase at all. I've had these headphones for over a year and I could not be happier with the durability and sound quality that I get out of these headphones every day. Alright guys, that does it for my review today. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Please rate, subscribe, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.